Hello, namaste. Hello, Peter, Leela. Namaste, Teshi Dele from Jumpsum, Nepal. Thank you for joining me here, finally. I've had serious connectivity issues uh, throughout uh, the trek. So this is the first time in many days that I've been able to say hello, and I'm so glad to be here and say hello. Hello, body, heart, spirit. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I miss you guys too. Missed uh, scoping. Totally missed scoping. But I've been really, really busy. Thank you. Oh, thank you. This is uh, Johnson Nepal. I am here. Hey, man. How's it going in Taiwan, Frankie? Um, I am in uh, the town of Jomsom, Nepal. I've pretty much ended my trek here of uh, this portion of the Annapurna circuit. Right now you're looking at Nilgiri. Nilgiri is 7,061 meters. It is absolutely stunning. Yes, I will pan around. Um, and uh, this is uh, the, 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 um, the west side of Jomsom. And then uh, on the other side, we cannot see, but in behind these mountains, Hello Canada um, uh, is uh, the seventh highest mountain in the world, uh, Dalagiri. And I'm hoping maybe maybe later tonight I can walk back out of the town and, uh, and give you a shot of that. It's absolutely one of the most stunning mountains in the world. Um, thank you for joining me here. Feel free to share the broadcast as well. And uh, let me see, do I remember how to do that? Uh, you just swipe the screen uh, left to right if you're on iOS and then uh, up and down on Android, or you can just tap that number and uh, and ask people to join. Uh, yes, stabilizer's working well. What's to the left? Well, it's uh, you just have to trust me. It's not a, a lot to see here, but this is um, no, I didn't feel the Afghan quake, and I'm sorry, I've been kind of cut off from a lot of uh, outside news and things like that. Hello, Mexico. Hola. Uh, feel free to uh, also, if I can say hello to you wherever you are in the world, I will try. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Uh, I, uh, that would be awesome. This is uh, Jomsom, and um, just to give you a little bit of background on what's happened today for me, I left the town of Keg Benny, Bristol, UK. Hello. Um, and uh, Derek Kelly. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I will try to meet Derek, for sure. Um, uh, do I remember John? <laughs> of course I remember your name, John. I'm just, uh, what, the reason why somebody was asking me to swing around further, there's some pretty strong winds here, so I'll tell you, I left the town of Keg Benny. This is part of the Kalagadaki Gorge uh, here. It's an amazing place in Nepal. And I left the town of uh, Keg Benny um, uh, this morning around 9.30. I was doing some interviews with uh, some local people there for an upcoming uh, podcast. And um, uh, you have to uh, trek in the mornings here because the winds are very strong and they are kind of, you get really strong gusts right now. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate the thoughts uh, from everybody and I really miss scoping and uh, hopefully from now on I can get back into a rhythm of uh, scoping again. But uh, the connectivity here has been, I've had uh, been equipped with, uh, you know, a couple of different SIM cards, but it just, it, we, we've just had poor connectivity. I had some bad weather on the other side of the Annapurna circuit for a few days. We, we were snowed uh, in uh, a bit uh, in uh, the town of Manang. So anyways, I made it out of this gorge, but it's very windy here in the afternoons especially. Um, yes, able to communicate with villagers, absolutely. Many people here speak English. So frustrating with Signal for you and in UK, yes. Um, and uh, so anyways, uh, the winds pick up really strong here. And um, <laughs> it's very easy, by the way, to pick up a, a crowd. Hello, you can say hello to everybody, okay? Namaste. Namaste. Lots of people watching right now. Thank you. Nepal is great. <laughs> and... Um, uh, so, so um, many, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's easy to communicate with people, as you could see. Um, but the winds are really strong here, so uh, I have a, to catch a flight tomorrow morning uh, from Pokhara, and the flights only are uh, a couple of hours in the morning because the winds are really strong here. So I apologize if I'm not swinging around uh, the view a little bit more. I do have it on a stabilizer right now, so I can give you a better um, signal, uh, better quality uh, broadcast. But um, uh, the winds are very, very strong here, uh, especially in the afternoon. So you, you have to do a lot of your trekking in the mornings here, um, uh, in, in, unless you want to deal with the winds, which are really harsh. And um, I, again, the flights uh, only in the mornings here. Uh, but this is, again, uh, what's the altitude here right now? About 2,700 meters. 
Um, and uh, the temperature right now is, I would say, probably with the sun, about 15, uh, 13 to 15 degrees. So that doesn't seem that cold, but once the sun drops, uh, once the sun drops, it, it gets extremely cold here. Uh, this is Nilgiri. Nilgiri, I'm not sure uh, what prominence it has within all of the rest of the Himalaya, but I can tell you it's 7,061 meters high. 7,061 meters high. It's absolutely a stunning, stunning mountain. And, oh, that's really cool. Well, I'm glad. Thank you, Australia. And uh, thank you, Peter. Thank you, everybody, for uh, sharing uh, the broadcast here. And I'll, I'll do one or two more uh, today, uh, maybe a little bit later, to give you a, a different perspective. Hello. Namaste. And um, I'm just saying hello to people as they walk by. And uh, so, so maybe later in the afternoon I can give you a view uh, as the sun uh, sets, and it would be pretty stunning here as well. Would I lose a signal if I walked around the street? Yes, possibly. Um, so I, I do apologize. Hello, D Dubai. Um, I, I, you know, I, I just have a feeling with this signal that I've got right now, it's v I'm very vulnerable here. That's why I'm not moving around too much. Uh, I'm not, no, I'm not going to climb one of these. I, I, uh, you know, that's a big investment in your life to be a climber, to climb these mountains. Uh, you, you have to spend a lot of um, time training, and uh, it's, it's really something that you have to really commit to. And no, I don't have any intentions of climbing any of those mountains, but I love looking at them and trekking around these areas and, and getting to know the people and the culture. And this is uh, the town of uh, Jomsom right now. Um, and uh, I'm just so glad that this broadcast has carried on. I've had some issues uh, uh, broadcasting before um, in Nepal, uh, this, this go around. Um, this is the end of my Annapurna Trail. Um, the Annapurna Trail actually carries on. You could actually keep uh, trekking for four, five, six more days. Um, <laughs> you hiked up Elephant Mountain and got altitude sickness. Well, then you would have a problem here, my friend. Um, but uh, the, um, I'm sorry, I, I was going to add a little bit more to that, but I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, yes, the, the, the wind here, like I said, I'm, that's why I'm not moving around too much. The winds are, the wind, the wind will blow this phone right off the stabilizer right now. So um, that's why I'm kind of in a bit of a sheltered area right now. So I do apologize if I'm not showing you more, um, but I am trying to show you what I can. And uh, hey, yeah, say hello, say hello, hello, lots of people watching, never stay. <laughs> and um, I, I, can I zoom in on the mountain? Oh, well, I'll give it a try. Uh, with this, it's just a little bit hard, but there you go. How's that? How is that? Neil Geary, 7,061 meters. Isn't that gorgeous? Just, uh, I, I mean, I tell you, I, I just, when I'm around the Himalaya, it's, it's just absolutely breathtaking here. And I wish I could have shown you more, but uh, I will try to um, do some. I, I'll be heading to Pokhara uh, tomorrow, and Pokhara has some very, very extremely nice views of the Himalaya and, and from uh, Lake uh, Fuya there. So I will uh, do some scoping from there. I shouldn't have a problem with the, uh, the signal. On the other side of this, I wish I could show you right now, but you can't see it from the town, is, is uh, Dalagiri. Dalagiri is the seventh highest mountain in the world. It's 8,000, so almost uh, 1,000 meters more uh, higher than uh, the mountain that you're looking at right now. And it also is um, a, one of the most dangerous mountains to climb. Yes, Fishtail is beautiful. I hope I can show you Fishtail. Uh, and uh, yes, Body, Heart, Spirit, I hope I could bring back some good memories for you too. So um, I'm just going to have a walk around here. The winds are picking up again, and I do apologize, but I will, uh, I will share some more scoping here from Jomsom, Nepal. So uh, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Far East Adventure Travel, and my Facebook page for Nepal only, Far East Adventure Travel Nepal, and Instagram. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Tashi Delay. Namaste. This is John Sabo, Far East Adventure Travel from Nepal. No, I don't feel any dizziness from high altitude. I, I handle the high altitude very well. I'm very, very, very lucky. No, I've never climbed Everest. I've been to the north and south base camps in Tibet and Nepal. But uh, no, I don't think I'll be climbing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Namaste. 